everybody, how's it going? Uh, hope you're surviving the pandemic and even worse, the lockdown. So, my question to you is, what have you been doing to make yourself a better tennis player? And the courts are locked up. They have crime scene tape over them, you know, uh, in, at Reservoir Park. So, so what could you do? Well, you could pick up something that great players have done forever, and that is finding a wall and hitting balls against it. Now, there's an art to that. You gotta learn how to do it, and there's a couple mistakes that people constantly make, but I'm here, the tennis gods have brought me to you, and I'm here to tell you what those mistakes are and how to avoid them. All right, so first of all, you gotta find a wall. Uh, there's a beautiful wall up at Reservoir Park. So far, it's still open. Uh, we have a wall here at, at Quincy Country Club, but maybe you have a wall at your house, uh, side of your house. Now, make sure there are no windows there unless you're perfect with your strokes, but um, if it's a fairly flat wall and you have some cement, you can use that um, or, or anything that will return the ball to you. Okay, so um, at Reservoir Park, my teams practice there during the fall and spring, and so we watch people on that wall all the time. And the first mistake they always make is that they don't warm up at all. They just walk off 20 feet from the, from the wall and just start bashing the ball. Well, you shouldn't do that, just like you shouldn't do that in a tennis match. Um, so start with a short little warm up. Get in front of the wall, pretty close. Get the ball in front and just bump it. Move your feet, start tracking the ball, um, and you'll be fine. You'll give yourself five, maybe five minutes, maybe uh, you know, 25 hits, whatever you want to do, but just get a little warm up close to the wall, and then start backing up a little bit. Uh, back up, you know, that you can to the place where you can just take a normal ground stroke um, and just start hitting, nice and controlled. You know, watch your stroke hit 25 forehands and switch 25 backhands or start with 10, whatever you think. Um, now, the second big mistake is that people don't move their feet when they hit against the wall. I mean, they see the wall, the wall isn't moving, but they decide just to plant their feet and start bashing. Well, that's not gonna help your strokes at all. You gotta move your feet, you gotta set yourself up and hit against the wall. Now, it can be boring. You know, you might, uh, you might need some music, maybe put your earbuds in, or your Bluetooth speaker, um, any of that. I can suggest music for you if you want. Uh, good rock and American blues would, would go really well for this. Something like uh, the Almond Brothers Live at the Fillmore, that would work. Uh, or you could be really cool and listen to jazz, uh, maybe uh, Miles Davis kind of blues, something like that. Anyway, um, do your stroke. Work on whatever stroke you need to work on. Move your feet, as I said. Get close and start the warm up. Now, if you want to add a little cardio to this, uh, bring a jump rope. Your trusted jump rope can sit there. You know, hit 20 backhands, 20 forehands, and jump rope for 30 seconds. Add some push ups if you want. You can do a whole workout. And trust me, if you use a Fitbit or an Apple Watch, just count the calories you get from doing that. You really burn calories a lot faster than you believe. Um, now, who does this? You could go online, you could go on YouTube and see the great goat himself, Roger Federer, hit on the wall. He's got a wall in his backyard, does it all the time. The great Bjorn Borg, they all learned how to hit on that on, on the wall. So, work on your strokes, come back a better tennis player at the end of this uh, lockdown. And I will tell you to quote the great Vic Braden, if you get really consistent, hit a lot of balls without a miss, your biggest problem is finding space on your mantle for all the trophies. Stay well.